Hey, good smelling people. How are you? I hope you're doing fine and staying safe. So today I want to do a simple, uh, straightforward, uh, hopefully not too long of a video. I have uh, four fragrances that I just received from a company and I want to do uh, kind of like an unboxing and uh, first impression a video of uh, these uh, fragrances. So a few days ago, I received four fragrances from the fragrance group. Uh, they are a US distributor of uh, several brands of fragrances like Banana Republic, uh, Tiziana Trenzi, and uh, Vicanto, and um, uh, BDK Parfum. So they sent me four fragrances. So I want to uh, open them and try them uh, in front of the camera. So I have uh, Bentley for Men Silver Lake. I think this is the uh, Bentley's like, latest uh, release. And then I also have a Tiziana Trenzi Kirke. I also have Vicanto Magnificat and also BDK Grease Kernel. So I'm very, very excited to try all these uh, four fragrances. So let's get to it. So let's start with Bentley for Men Silver Lake. I'm actually very, very excited to try this. So let's open this. So this is the box. Okay, very nice. Let me open this. Okay, so the bottle is uh, is silver color, uh, but the body here it's silver with like a like a hint of blue. It's actually really really nice if you can tell if you can see see you can see the blue and then the silver as well so it kind of looks like a like a like a water in the lake so it's really cool okay so um very nice cap now uh, let's try this let's spray it on the test strip Okay, it's very fresh and citrusy. I get a lot of mint in the opening. Um, kind of reminds me of um, the original Aqua di Gio by uh, Giorgio Armani. Very, very um, modern, uh, mass appealing, freshy. I like it a lot. Um, I'm not sure the uh, the rest of the uh, the official notes in this uh, fragrance, but it's really nice. I get um, a little bit of like a kind of kind of like a sweetness as well, um, some kind of like wood. But I really really enjoy uh, the uh, the mint note in this, very fresh. I like it a lot. So this is actually really good. I like this. Okay, let's move on to the second fragrance. Okay, next let's let's try um, Tiziana Trenzi Kirke. So this is a very luxurious box. It's kind of like a cube. There's the logo in front, and I have a uh, Orion. So I know that um, this presentation is going to be amazing. So let's open the box. Okay. So. Okay, and then it opens like this. Look at that. So it's very, very opulent, very, very classy gold and black um, presentation. Very nice. So um, I just dropped the, the booklet. This is the bottle. Okay. Very, very nice. And then the cap is actually quite heavy. The bottle too. Okay, now let's try the the scent. I have test strip here. Let's spray this. Oh wow! Okay, this I, I immediately get like a like a burst of uh, fruits. Really um, sweet. I'm not sure. Um, what kind of uh, fruits um, they have in this, but I'm guessing maybe um, maybe like a pineapple and 
I'm kind of getting like peach as well. And then I get like a hint of a uh, floral as well. Um, maybe like ylang ylang or something. Really, really nice. Uh, kind of uh, leans uh, a little bit feminine. But um, uh, I'm confident that um, men can pull this off too. Very, very nice. I would wear this for sure, a hundred percent. Yeah, um, I I know that there's a there's a lot of hype around this uh, fragrance, and now I know why because this is great. I get uh, now I'm getting like a some kind of like a like depth and like richness from this uh, uh, this scent. I need to check the um, the official notes in, in this, but. At the moment, like the opening, I get like a lot of like um, um, fruitiness, sweet, and um, like floral as well. Yeah. I'm gonna do a full review of uh, these fragrances as well later on, so like um, don't worry. So this is just a first impression. Wow, so uh, I really, really like this one. Um, five stars. I love it. Okay, now let's move on to the third uh, fragrance. Okay, now let's try Vicanto Magnificat and I think uh, Vicanto is kind of like a sister brand of Tiziana Terenzi so uh, because it says here Vicanto by Terenzi so they're kind of like sister brand so um, now let's open this soap box so th this box has like a sleeve okay nice elegant box okay now let's open this so that's like a like a string to secure the box oh wow and then the, the box opens like this how nice is that look at this now let's pick up the Oh, so the bottle is uh, has like this um, velvet like a uh, coating, so it's like a kind of like fabric. So it's not paint on anything. So it's like a like a fabric velvet in kind of like a blue purple color. Very very classy. Look at that. Nice. Now let's uh, try the scent also i want to show the the cap the cap is really nice and heavy with the logo look at that really really nice okay now let's spray the scent on this test strip oh wow okay the, um it's very sweet leans a little bit uh, feminine I get uh, some kind of like a like a, a like a candy kind of like gourmand type of scent um, a little bit um, kind of like Middle Eastern in, uh, inspired like probably there's uh, like incense or like benzoin in this I'm not too sure because I need to check the, uh, the official notes but it has like um, like a Middle Eastern kind of like a uh, inspired like a smell not too heavy but it, ha it has um, some depth in, uh, in in this yeah like a sweet very playful kind of feminine a, a little bit dark or like dense oh wow I'm digging this um, probably not uh, a day scent but maybe um maybe for the evenings kind of remind me of um like instant crush by mancera but um they're not similar it's just like kind of like in the same kind of like uh, neighborhood group very very nice i like this a lot yeah um it kind of has this like um, kind of like berry notes as well I'm guessing 
I could be wrong, but it's like a little bit floral, a little bit fruity, a little bit candy like. So this is very nice. I'll I'll come back to this and then I'll check the official notes as well. But this is nice. Let's move on to the uh, to the last fragrance. Okay, the uh, the last fragrance. I know uh, there's a lot of uh, hype around uh, this particular scent and also uh, the brand. So um, I'm very very excited to try this. And it is a BDK Parfum, and this one is Gris Canel. So and then um, on the box here it says Fig, the Noir. Absolute Iris, Very Very Bourbon, uh, Santal the Indie, and then also Tonka. So like right away, I know what I'm getting. Like uh, uh, the listed notes on the box. So now let's uh, open the box. It's kind of like a simple box, you know, uh, ivory color with uh, some kind like a uh, some information here as well in French, I think. So yeah, very. Minimalist, but a re really classy box. Let's open it. Okay, and the box slides like a like this from the side. Let me open this. Kind of stuck. <laughs> there you go. Okay, yeah, so it slides from the side like this and look at the bottle Isn't that gorgeous? So nice Let me take the box. Let me take out the bottle. So This is the the bottle Very classy very nice to me this um, aesthetic kind of reads um, like um, What do you call that? Um, Kind of like retro a little bit, you know. Very nice, uh, very classy, very French, I think. So nice. Now uh, let's try the scent. Okay. Oh wow! I immediately get the iris. Wow, this is a um, because like I have a lot of uh, iris fragrances in my collection. I have Dior Homme, I have a uh, Valentino uh, Omo, I have um, Prada um, Infusion line. Like um, so, like I have a lot of iris scents uh, in my collection, but this is different. And now I'm getting the Santal as well, and I'm really really digging the um, the the com the combo uh, you know, iris and Santal combo. This is really, really classy, like, like tuxedo kind of like scent. Amazing. Like it has kind of like a fresh opening as well. I'm not getting the fig. I think maybe on my skin I will get it, but like when I spray it and when I first smell it earlier just now, um, I, I got a lot of iris and then uh, Santal immediately after, the, after that. This is really, really nice. I'm actually very, very impressed. I like this a lot. This is probably one of the best fragrances I have now in my collection. No joke. This is amazing. I cannot wear this like on my skin, so that um, you know I'll know like and I I get to know the, the the scent more. You know what? I'm gonna spray on my hand, and try it again. Oh wow! So on my hand, I get this um really bitter kind of like um kind of like tea note i think and a little bit of sweetness maybe the sweetness is uh, fake i'm actually not very uh, very familiar with a uh, fake in fragrances to be honest 
yeah i'm getting a little bit of sweetness and this like kind of like a bitterness kind of like tea maybe like black tea maybe the noir on the box means um, black tea yeah now i'm getting the iris and then the santal it smells really really classy really really good wow this is amazing like i'm very very impressed with this okay okay now uh, let's go back to the first second and third um, fr uh, fragrances and then uh, let me check the official notes for them as well okay so now i have the uh, test strip for um, bentley silver lake i'm still getting the um, the citrus i think maybe it's um, like an orange or lemon i still get the mint and then um getting some like a like a wood uh, like a woody note a little bit of sweetness maybe from like amber or something and then like i have a, a laptop in my hand so let me um, um go to fragrantica and um check the notes okay so uh, on fragrantica it says for a bentley silver lake it has a lemon and mint in the opening and then middle notes um, it has a violet leaves lavender and pink pepper and in the base it has amber wood and musk yep so i'm getting like the amber like kind of like a hint of sweetness really really nice okay now let's go back to the second fragrance uh, which was uh, the tiziana Trenzi. let me smell the skin yeah um, i'm getting fruits and a floral Lin's feminine but um men can um wear this um, scent to really really nice kind of reminds me of a uh, something in my collection but i cannot remember which one now let me check the um the official note okay so the official note has i see a lot of fruits and florals so it has passion fruit peach pear raspberry uh, cassis and sand uh, in the top note and then um, lily of the valley in the heart and then in the base it has musk vanilla sandalwood patchouli and heliotrope okay so yeah so um it's floral it's fruity it's fun it's playful i like this a lot okay now let's go back to the third uh, fragrance which is the vicanto magnificat okay yeah, so, um, okay, you know what? I think um, Vicanto Magnificat kind of like reminds me of Calvin Klein um, Amber Gold Ref uh, Euphoria. It has that um, it's sweet, floral, and it has that um, Middle Eastern like influence. Very, very nice. Let me check the, um, the notes. Um, in the opening, it has amber rose and ylang ylang and then in the middle note um, uh, in the heart it has amber cotton candy sandalwood and geranium and in the base it has incense benzoin vanilla san sandalwood patchouli and musk yeah so it makes sense why this smells like uh, ck amber gold euphoria because it has a lot of amber floral and kind of sweet very very nice okay now let's check the official notes for um, BDK Grease Canal it smells so good guys like my hand smells so good uh, okay so in the opening it has uh, cardamom fig and black tea so I was right and then um, in the middle uh, in the heart it has iris and also bourbon vetiver and in the base it has a uh, tonka bean and also sandalwood yeah so like um, I'm really enjoying the the combination of iris and sandalwood in um, in this uh, fragrance santal or sandalwood it's um such a classy uh, scent i'm loving this a lot so there you have it guys i'm trying to keep this uh, video short but maybe i fail but um i hope you enjoyed uh, this video and then i'm gonna start um wearing the um, the fragrances and then uh, maybe in a few weeks I will do a full review of them so um, stay tuned 
and um, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much.